Hello YouTube and welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today we're going to be talking about program mode on our DSLR cameras. Now I know some of you guys are probably thinking to yourself, yeah, great, what is program mode? I've seen the letter P, but I don't fully understand what program mode is. Right guys, basically, Program mode is all about exposure. Program mode allows the photographer to get the exposure correct first time round. So what I mean about exposure, DSLRs work with light meters. When we align our light meters central, we then get the perfect or technically correct exposure and that's what program mode does it uses the camera's built-in light meter to work out what is the best exposure so let's have a look in more detail when you shoot a camera in automatic mode then the photographer does not have any control over the camera other than the fact it's the photographer that decides when to release the shutter in order to take a photograph. When a photographer is in manual mode, then the photographer now has the opportunity, the opportunity to control every aspect of the camera. However, when we enter into program mode, then that to me is like meeting automatic mode and manual mode halfway in the middle. So let me explain this. When we enter into program mode, the first thing that happens is the camera will give us a combination of aperture and shutter speed. So let me give you an example. To the left of me, I have a dot board on the wall and I wanted to photograph that in program mode so I put my camera onto my tripod and I switched it into program mode straight away program mode gave me the combination of f4 at 15th of a second so that's like the automatic mode it automatically gives you the correct exposure of what it thinks is correct. So I took the photograph and this is what I got. Now this is where program mode is different from automatic mode. I don't want to use an aperture of f4. So instead I turned the dial and what that done was that gave me a different combination but it gives me the exact same exposure. So this time round, I chose an aperture of f22 at a full two seconds. And this is what the photograph looked like. As you can see, it doesn't look really much different from the first combination of f4 at 15th of a second. But remember guys, this is what program mode is all about. It is about getting the exposure correct first time round, regardless of what aperture or shutter speed the camera has been fired on. Now, the thing you've got to remember with program mode is that you cannot choose what aperture it is that you want to shoot. What I mean by this is that program mode will only give you certain combinations. For example, on the dot board shot, my camera would only allow me to have uh, the fastest shutter speed I was allowed to use was 15th of a second and the largest aperture I was allowed to use was f4. I was not allowed to go above any of them numbers. Now, the narrowest aperture I was allowed to use on the dot board shot was f22, and the longest shutter speed I was allowed to use was two seconds. 
So as you can see, I was restricted to the combinations it was that I was allowed to use in order to make up them exposures. Because if the camera gave me anything else, then I would not have had the perfect exposure. So as you can see guys, it's all about exposure. Now, let's move on and have another working example of program mode in action. So, have a look at this photograph. Yes, I know it looks like Coronation Street, but this photograph was taken on f5.6 at 640th of a second. Now, that's a pretty fast shutter speed, isn't it? 640th of a second. But there's a problem with shooting on f5.6 in a scene like this. And that means that you lose detail in the foreground of your image. So what I done in program mode was I moved the dial to see if program mode would give me a different combination of shutter speed and aperture in order to get a more narrower aperture for depth of field. And I was surprised to learn that the program mode would give me an aperture of f32 and the shutter speed would have been 25th of a second. So that means the aperture would have been really, really, really narrow, but I would have got a lot of depth of field at 25th of a second. So I took the photograph and this is what I got. Now, if you compare this photograph with this photograph, then you will see at f32, I have a lot more detail on my roof than what I do at f5.6. So as you can see, program mode as quickly allowed me to get the correct exposure with regards to different combinations of shutter speed and aperture. Now, I know some of you guys are probably scratching your heads saying, you know, this doesn't make sense to me, but I understand that it may sound complicated, but once you get your head around it, it's really not that complicated. It's actually quite simple to understand. So my advice to you is to don't be scared. Go into program mode for yourself and have a look at how you can change between these different combinations of shutter speed and aperture. Because again, if you can perfect how to use program mode, you'll be working a lot faster than you would be in manual mode. Remember, when we are in manual mode, we are basically, we've got a list of shutter speeds from here to here. And for us to get from here up to this side, okay, we have to go do, 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 jump. What program mode does is it gives you bigger leaps up them ladders with regards to aperture and shutter speed. So again, guys, check out your program mode and don't be scared of it. So remember to subscribe to the channel and when you get the time, check out our online shop over at www.ukhighland.com.